Here is how to use Motion app if you are just getting started. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you are all doing great. In this video, I will cover most of the things that you will need to know, if not all, if you are just getting started or if you're just picking up Motion uh, for yourself. So I will just go through everything that you will need to know, how to use it, what you can use it for, and so on. So the first thing I think I should cover is going to be actually the pricing because this is very important. Um, so there are going to be two plans that they offer. The individual plan, which is going to be for those who are working solo. And then there's the team plan, uh, which for is for the people who want to have more people working with them within the same workspace. So both of them are kind of similar, uh, except... The team offers uh, more stuff in terms of collab and stuff like that, which is going to be more team based, obviously. And then individual is going to give you pretty much everything that you will need for a single uh, person. So it says 19 here because um, this is going to be $19 a month. Uh, and then this is going to be 12 per user per month. This is why this is a little bit cheaper because it's going to be per user. So every user is going to have uh, to be accounted for uh, so this is pretty much the plans that are, they offer uh, and i suggest that you start your seven day free trial try it out first uh, test the waters before you actually jump into um, paying uh, for it if you like it you can you know actually go for it if not then feel free to cancel uh, cancel at any time so with that being said uh, after this is, whole thing is done, you just go ahead to usemotion.com and then you just go ahead and click on try motion for free. You just sign up, enter your information, your card, your card information, and don't worry, you can cancel at any time. Uh, and then afterwards, you should be greeted with a page like this where you can find uh, your dashboard here. Your dashboard is going to be very simple. You've got three main uh, things that you will be working with here. The calendar view, the projects view, and then the bookings. So those are going to be the main stuff. And then if you wanted to access settings, you can obviously just cl uh, click on the gear icon. And since I am here, I will actually go to default view and make sure this is dark uh, theme. So uh, here you can also fill in uh, more information about yourself if you want uh, or if you are going to create a team you can do it from here so create team and then uh, just do it from here and this is going to obviously uh, require the th uh, the the other plan which is the team plan so now let's actually talk about what you can do uh, from within here the calendar is going to be uh, pretty much the projects and the bookings combined but in a calendar view so here you can create events add tasks and whatever tasks that you add or bookings that you add from these two they are going to show up in here and they will let you know that you have this specific event or task in this specific day not only that, but you can also create tasks from within uh, this menu here. You can, for example, click on, well, first of all, before I, before we actually just uh, create anything, this, for example, is a task that we have. You can make sure you can drag it down so it's a specific amount of hours. So, for example, from, let's just move it. So, from 9 a.m. to a.m. to 11 a.m. if we want, or we can, you know, make it increase. So we can play around with stuff that are already existing. This is, for example, a task that you have just created for the sake of the example. But you can obviously filter through the days and you can just go through them and you can go to next week, next week, and so on. Now let's actually talk about how to create events and uh, tasks. So to do so, you can. You, there's, uh, I think, two ways. So the first one is just go to the top right where you can find create event. Uh, in here, you will be uh, able to just click on here and it's going to give you a few options that you can use to create your event. Now you can select whether it's a task or an event. Uh, let's just do an event first. So let's just name it example event. And then you select the date and the hours uh, and whether you want it to repeat or it's just one time so let's just select it is on this day and then from um 
let's just say it is from uh from 1 p.m where is 1 p.m you know what just 4 p.m to uh to let's just make it three hours so 7 p.m and then we do uh all day actually uh, if you want if you don't want to add any uh, like hours specific hours uh but we this is not on repeat by default but if you want to be on repeat you can do so whether you want it to be daily uh weekly or so on or custom by the way so let's just keep it at off and then if you want to add travel time it's going to be also up to you adding guests you can just click on here and add uh guests if you have people working with you within uh uh, or added to this workspace you can add a description which is going to just you know summarize what this event is for this is for an example uh, and then here if you want to have a conferencing you can add whether it's zoom google meet and so on but this is not going to be for conferencing well, let's actually do zoom but you will need to obviously log into your zoom account so let's just keep it off and then if you want to add a specific location, maybe it's a, a, a real life event that you want to add a location to, you just can click here and you can add a custom location. Uh, here you can add the emails that are going to be uh, like joined in this uh, event. So you can add more. Here you can do free or busy and then default visibility or is it private or is it public and so on. So let's just create a sample event so this is how it looks like and it's going to be from the day that we just selected and the hours that we also selected uh the thing is we can also drag it to be wherever we want it to be so if we want to change uh at some point we can do it like this and we can again drag it down if you want to increase the time so now that we just created an event is going to be from here that we can find easily and we can also again uh, add a task so again plus icon and then task and then we just give it a name so uh, water the plants and just create and it's going to be created uh, from here so we can actually find it now there's going to be another thing by the way you can just you know click on them from the right side and edit things out uh, if you want so it's completely up to you but we want to do another another thing uh, which is going to be for example uh, creating it in a different way so for example I wanted to create it here I can just double uh, click or just click right there just uh like hold it down and dra drag down and i can create an event or a task so, so this is another way that you can create a task um so let's just name it again just uh just another example and let's just create it you can click on it and edit things out if you want uh from the editing uh, for the task you've got a few things you've got the priority which is going to be high ASAP, low or medium. Uh, if you want to assign it to a specific person, this is going to be obviously, uh, you will need to have team members with you. So team plan, uh, the status you can add to do uh, in progress, blocked or completed. Let's just keep it in progress. And then if you want to have a start date or a deadline, you can also do it. So let's just save task for now uh, and just exit out of here. So right now we've got a few things in our hands. We've got the uh, tasks over here and everything. But let's actually jump into the projects view. The calendar, I think we've covered pretty much everything. Uh, and it's, again, you can view all of, the, all of those things from uh, the right side here. So let's just resolve this because it's kind of getting annoying. Just do this. Okay, so let's actually go to projects now. So for the projects, you will need to create a workspace. Workspace is going to have all the projects within it. So I think you will only need one workspace unless you're working on two different, completely different uh, projects. So let's just name it tutorial and let's just click on next. And then it's going to allow us, this is not a password, Google. So again, click on next. And then it's going to uh, ask us to create a project name. 
project name is going to be the second category so we've got workspace and then projects and then under the projects you will have the tasks so project one writing a script a few tasks uh, project two editing editing the video specific tasks and so on so for example let's just do a video edit and click on next and now we can add the tasks again this is not a password google uh, so create task let's just do uh, intro editing uh, video editing and then outro why not so those are three tasks and now we can just click on next you will not be asked to do this every single time by the way it's just for the first time when you create your first workspace and here you can also add another workspace uh, from here but again we don't really need it unless we completely have two different separate projects that we are working on so here is going to be the tasks that we added from the calendar and they have no project they are just tasks with no project uh, which can be, you know, personal tasks like, you know, watering a little plant, uh, calling somebody, grocery shopping. It's not a project, right? So we can just uh, minimize that. And then we've got projects here, uh, which is going to be specific projects. And we have specific tasks for those. And again, you can uh, set the status, like is it in progress or is it completed or is it... Um, uh, to do so here let's just do hi and then asap and then uh hi again let's just keep it medium duration if you want you can just keep it at none there you go and uh we've got ourselves a nice little task and stuff here you can add more tasks by just clicking on this plus icon and you can add more uh, if you just click on here, you can just create another task. Final cut. Again, this is going to be a to do, medium, actually ASAP, uh, and obviously assignee again, like we talked about, is going to be the person that you want to assign it to. This is going to be for the team plan. And uh, if you want to add a start date and due date here, you can do so, but this is ASAP. So you can do it and then duration if you want again we don't want a duration uh and then you can schedule work hours and so on let's just create this task and move on with our lives uh now what you can do for example we are done with the no project we are done with the video edit let's create another project to do so it's very simple go to the top right add project and let's just create a script project uh, we don't want a description let's just create project and by the way, you can still add um, deadlines and stuff for, sorry, for the project if you want. So it's also completely up to you. So if we just go back, we don't want uh, this view. We can just go to here and we can view the entire thing. Right there. Okay, apparently I need to do more. So hold on, just again, script, create project, and then let's just add tasks to it so we just add task let's just name it uh, script intro create task and then we can select a few things here so let me just turn off that save task and boom we've got this task let's just add another one script and let's just add three just for the sake of it and then add last task which is going to be the outro text and create task and you can by the way just drag and drop them wherever you want so for example here if it's uh, under blocked you can do it like so if you want it to be under in progress again you can just dra drag and drop it would make which makes things a lot easier so here intro and then script and then outro and now if we just click on uh, the workspace, it should just take us back to all the projects and the tasks that we have. Uh, in here, again, we can just manage the projects and the tasks within. So basically, this is uh, pretty much everything that you will need to know for projects. It's very simple. It's projects underneath, uh, you will have the tasks for them. And uh, actually, one more thing, you can actually go to Kanban view here 
and it's going to make things a lot easier for you to adjust. So here we've got uh, the entirety of the tasks in this kind of view in progress and to do and so on. Uh, and you can add more. For example, here you want to add, um, let's just do completed. Actually, let's just, let's just exit out of here. Uh, I think this is quite nice. Okay, so let's just keep it this. So you can click on Kanban view and you can see it uh, in this way if you want. Or you can just filter back to list. So this is basically it for projects. And by the way, if we just go back to calendar, you can see on the right, we've, we've got plenty more things here. And those are the things that we have just added from within the projects tab. So what we whatever we add from the projects tab, as well as booking, like I said, is going to be showing up within the calendar. So lastly, we have the booking tab. In the booking tab, if it's the first time that you open it up and you haven't already done that, it is going to ask you to connect the, uh, the calendars that you are using uh, in your day-to-day -day lives or your business. So you'll just need to connect your calendars in here. That could be your Google Calendar, Apple, or Microsoft. And you can just uh, edit them in here. So afterwards, you should find yourself in here. And you can just click on set up your bookings link. Say goodbye okay, to the I days. Don't need I this. Let's just go back to motion. Uh, from here, we will be able to actually just set uh, the bookings up. So apparently you will need to actually uh, watch through the entire video to um, go to the next step, which I suggest that you do, but I know what I'm doing, so I don't really need to. So I just click on get started after you watch the video. So in here, you will need to set up your booking link. So here you will set up your schedule. So work hours, uh, we can edit those and we have already done that. So once you sign up to motion, uh, it's going to ask you for your uh, work hours. And you can also, you know, adjust those later on if you have changed those. But it's going to ask you for your work hours when you sign up to uh, motion. You will obviously need to set those up and let them know the hours that you are working. Here you can now set up your buffer time and then duration uh for your um booking so let's just do one hour and the location whether it's going to be an actual custom location which is a physical lo location or if it's going to be a conference then you will need to link in your zoom google meet or so on here you can set uh, up reminders uh for emails so this is going to be before the uh actual booking or the meeting so we can do one hour before and you can, if you want to edit the message, so you, you know, you can uh, obviously, or you should do this. Uh, just let them know, but one hour before to actually remind them. And then you can just set up the link here. So you can just uh, change this if you want. Uh, and you can also change that if you want. So uh, this should be good. Schedule again, if you don't want your work hours, you can do anytime day night personal or custom completely up to you or add schedule but i prefer to keep it on my work hours that i have just edited uh, and just create booking uh, page so i have the booking page here and i can just generate message uh, and i should just have if if somebody actually like uh from this link like obviously you will need to share the link if somebody manages and uh gets to the link and actually did have a booking for you, it should show up from within the calendar that this specific person is going to give you their information, has booked a um, conference or whatever it may be, and this specific date, it should show up in here as well. So here is going to show you uh, everything that you will need to know. And this is pretty much how to use the motion for projects, bookings, and so on. So I hope this video helped you out and showed you pretty much how to get started. Um, now, I, I guess there's more to it. It's just going to be, you'll learn as you are working on it. So I hope this video helped you out a little bit with getting started. And thanks for watching.